Welcome to Super Sunday. Bloody hell, what a difference a week makes. Meat shortages in supermarkets, all down to CO2 emissions. We don't use that type of packing, so I believe sticking with local butchers the way forward. We've got a cracking sale for you. Not going to mess you about. We've got we've simplified it on steak. I've got some cracking Brazilian ribeyes or Scottish sirloin. Any way around, four for fifteen pound. If you want eight, anywhere, four of them, four of them, eight of them, eight of them, don't matter to me, they're eight for 25. Eight for 25, mix and match them how you want. Now I've got some smaller, 150 gram commercial sirloins, 10 for 20. So these are when you want in a steak dinner, doing a bit of training, like a lot of steak for your money, that's what you want, 10 for 20. T-bone steaks and tomahawks. We haven't had tomahawks on for a while, dropped on a pocket full of these. I'd get these while you can because it's not going to be long before we're going to be boarding these out, keeping them in joints for Christmas. Christmas section, I asked you this week if you want me to put a bit in. Really, really impressed with the amount of comments we got, so we'll be doing more of that. I've got a little bit of Christmas gear down there for you. But Tomahawks or T-Bones this week, £17.50 each or two for 30 Any way around you like it, two Tomahawks, two T-Bones, whichever way you like it, two for 30 quid. Roasting beef this week. You can order it by the kilo. 10.50 a kilo. Yorkshire quality. David Gulfor. Beautiful bullock beef. And it doesn't matter whether you want the salmon cut, the silver side, the top side, which is under here. Or we can get a steak Canadian's out knuckle. Any way you like it, we'll bone it out. 10.50 a kilo. Yorkshire farm fed beef. If you're looking for a Christmas size roast, any size roast you want, you just Add it up in your uh, figments of kilos, whichever you like, we'll cut them to size for you. Beautiful Yorkshire beef, so if you're after some of that, no problem at all. Into the joint section, dead easy for you. Beef or pork, top side beef joints or half pork loins, tenner a joint. I've got some stuffed belly joints at 8.99, they went down really well last time. We'll score them all up for you so they'll crackle too. I've also done some chicken crowns. We've been having some lovely extra large chickens come through. So that's a boneless chicken crown with a little bit of sausage meat stuffing in. Just finished off with a bit of bacon. At 6 99 a piece, two for 12 quid. Family essentials box. Like I say, there is rumours of a shortage. I believe if you're shopping with a local butcher you'll be alright, which will probably mean everybody comes flocking back to us again. But it's important them that have shopped with us all year round, you get your orders in. You're going to get in a few messages Friday, Saturday, just prompting you, letting you know that you come first. If you want to recommend a friend, that'd be great. But the people who've looked after us, that's what's important to us. So, essentials box, you're getting steak burgers, Italian style meatballs, sirloin steaks, pork steaks, turkey steaks, stewing steak, mince, Chicken fillet, bacon and sausages, all for 39 99 if you just want a bit of everything. Tomahawk, pork chops, five for a tenner. If it's chicken fillets you're after, we've got a variation. We've got Chinese chicken fillets, we've got plain chicken fillets, or we've got lemon pepper chicken fillets. Believe it or not, the lemon pepper ones, they taste a little bit like lemon, a little bit like pepper, and a little bit like chicken. Hence the call, lemon pepper chicken. Marvellous. But the 10 for a tenner anywhere around. Pork steaks, we're doing 15 for a tenner. Five for five, 15 for a tenner. Chinese, I've got a new oriental salt and pepper. Uh, not quite as keen as the other one, got uh, tons of ginger in it. Really, really tasty in my opinion. Not quite as hot as the other salt and pepper one. So try them anywhere around. You could have to have five of each, but anywhere around ten, uh, 15 for 10 pound. Something a little bit new for you, pork fillets. So that's a fillet steak of pork. Beautiful, cut it into medallions. Uh, you get three of them for £10. Or duck breasts. We haven't had duck breasts on for absolutely ages, but I've nicked some. I've absolutely nicked some for you this week. So I've got four, chick uh, four duck breasts, plain or in the uh, plum sauce, Chinese plum sauce, anywhere around four duck breasts for a tenner. So Jay, if you're a duck breast fan, I suggest you get stuck into them, because they are a price. When they're gone, they're gone, and when they're gone, we've none. So don't come crying to me and going quackers. <laughs> terrible, absolutely terrible. Uh, right, chicken nuggets. I've done lemon pepper and I've done the southern fried. 
Went absolutely crazy on them last week. Lovely 800 gram measurements for just five quid, just a stocking filler. I've done the, the belly in the new salt oriental salt and pepper glaze. I've cut them a bit shorter, just like you would from Chinese. A little bit of different for you. So oriental salt and pepper belly pork, four pound in weight for a tenner. Uh, Chinese style spare ribs, the hotter salt and pepper spare ribs, four pound in weight for 10 pound. I've got 80, 20 mints at four pound in weight for a tenner. I've got extra lean steak mints at 9.90 a kilo, and I've got Aldo's mints at 9.90 a kilo, whichever you like, three types for you this week. Lamb liver, coming a little bit colder, I've put a little bit of a cold food section in for you. So I've got lamb liver at two pound in weight for a fiver. I've got stewing steak, three pound in weight for a fiver. Beef short ribs, six for 10, or an oven buster for a tenner. Or I've got some beef cheeks, and a beef cheeks on for quite a while at three for ten pound. Uh, Shim beef for eight eighty a kilo. So if you like a bit of slow cooking, you want to get prepared for these dark nights. It's dropping down every week. Have a little look at that. Right, anybody who's a right greedy sod, I love these. Look at them, full belly, oven busting pork chops. So you've got that. That's a tomahawk pork chop, and it's got all the belly on it too, all the way around. You don't see them like that in the supermarket. Quality, and there's an introductory offer, but guess how much? How much should you expect them to be in a fancy farm shop? Anywhere fancy, how much? Go on. Well, I'll tell you anyway, what miss you about? Five or a piece. See what you think of them. Little, little try for you. If you're in trouble with husband, put one of them on his plate, and will be back in big bed, love. Don't worry about that. Right, I told you I was gonna put a little bit of a Christmas section in. This year, do I think there's going to be a shortage of me in supermarkets and establishments that are not local butchers? Yes, I do believe there will be. I do. Do I think there will be in your local butcher and people who buy it locally, uh, use same suppliers all the time and have got a dedicated customer base? Probably not. I'm not going to stay here and say I'm going to have a total shortage of me. But what I won't have time to do in December is to do as niche stuff, uh, stuff that takes a lot more time, stuff that I could sell hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of, but we just haven't got time to do. So what we've decided to do after a bit of feedback this week was to put a little Christmas section in from now till Christmas. You can buy one joint at a time, you can buy what you want. On Friday next week, we're launching as hampers. But this is the niche stuff that you can buy every single week uh, put them in your freezer. People say, I don't like to freeze my meat. The question I always ask is why? And that's when they usually start stuttering. Uh, well, it's better fresh. Well, is it? Is it better fresh? Or is it that you can take it out of your freezer, vacuum packed, put it straight in back your fridge, defrost it very, very slowly, which is called tempering. And it will just come out absolutely fine. So generally people say that they don't want to freeze meat, but they actually don't even know why they don't want to freeze it. I've froze loads of meat before, it's absolutely fine. So anyway, enough of that. I'm going to put this section in. So I've done a port wine with a, a Cumberland sage and cranberry stuffing inside, a little bit of salt and pepper under the skin, including a little bit of applesauce. So there's a bit of applesauce under this extra crackling. A little bit of sage and mixed herbs on top, and that joint's £15. I've done an extra large belly, stuffed belly joint. They're 12 99 I've done some sirloin roast that weigh 1.5 kilo, and all I've done is taken that bit of fat back. I've put some whole grain mustard and salt and pepper underneath it. I put it back over the top. I've put a few cloves of clove cloves of garlic and I've put some rosemary and thyme and a little bit of mixed herbs on there and that'll make a lovely sirloin roast of just $19.99. Will there be more than this at Christmas? Yeah, there probably will be and I'll tell you why there will be because it's supply and demand. When everybody wants it, we've got to pay for it. That's all there is to it. So it's in me who likes a profiteer at Christmas. My advice is the organised who want to make sure that they've got theirs in early, who want this niche gear, 
get, get it in. I'm not saying you have to buy it this week, but we asked the question, didn't we? We got the feedback, and the feedback was, yes, we'd like you to put a Christmas set through, because that's what I've done for you. Now, this is a three-bird roast. So it's uh, a turkey breast. It's opened up. It's got uh, a layer of sausage meat stuffing in. It's got a duck breast, which has been pocketed open, and another layer of sausage meat stuffing. Then it's got a chicken fillet, and then it's brought over two strings underneath and then I finished it in a rindless dry cured bacon rubbed with a little bit of goose fat some salt and pepper and mixed herbs and usually at Christmas I'd be asking minimum $39.99 or 45 quid for them this time of year because I can buy turkey at the right money and because I have a little bit more time on my hands to do it I'm willing to sell them at $29.99 if you want my advice, it's, you know, I'd get them in and I reckon till end of November we'll be able to hold that price. That's what this section is about. Now this is a half honey roast soy and treacle ham. Absolutely beautiful. The taste a million, million times better than the look. And in my opinion, they look good. So it's, it's a honey roast base. It's got a little bit of soy sauce and it's got a little bit of treacle finishing it outstanding especially done for me a lot of people sometimes they try a honey roast or they try a treacle roast and then the moment it goes black because the sugar burns very really quickly this is a proper mix that you will not get that from so try that so free bird roast pork loin uh, sirloin you've got a belly roast and, and your ham as well that's your little christmas section this week i'm going to be introducing different stuff just see what type of update we have on it but next week you'll also be able to order your hampers uh we've got oyster cut thighs with just one little thin bone tikka tandoori the new oriental salt and pepper and the plain chicken thighs all 10 for 2.99 20 for a fiver a limited amount of stock when they're gone they're gone when they're gone we're not it's not my fault i can only do what i can do i've got two kilo packs of smoked dry cured bacon the best money can buy absolutely outstanding and a tenner a pack so it's literally five or a kilo you can't go wrong uh, then it's own proper donors various flavors they're all listed on there garlic salt and pepper minted all two for ten pound look at these extra large super roasted super fresh chickens these are normally a lot of money the farm fresh they're english the red tractor approved the you name it. The only thing they do is that they don't do is cluck. Well, that's all the eggs. <laughs> uh, I've got plain, I've done a puri puri style, I've done a Jamaica jerk, and I've done like a garlic and herb. Now these chickens are $6.99 a piece. They weigh a minimum of two and a half kilos, but most of them are pushing towards three. The $6.99, if you spend a hundred pound, you're getting one of them for free. You can pick which you like, your choice. It's a pretty good free gift this week. We are trying as best. I expect an avalanche this weekend because of what's in the press and because people can't get it in the supermarkets at the moment. And I do see problems for the supermarket because of how they pack the meat with the CO2 gas uh, and the fact there's going to be a shortage of it. I think they're going to have to pivot and turn quickly. The fact that your local butcher doesn't use gas in his packing and this animal. And I'm just talking about me, I always say, if you don't even use me, use your local butcher, they need you. Uh, we've found a load of new customers in pandemic. Have some of them subsided? Yeah, but we've kept a lot of them too. A lot of people liked it, so let's uh, let's let's go, go back to the butcher. And like I say, even if it's me, you, you, use your local butcher. Four pound in weight of belly pork, plain Chinese or salt and pepper for 10 pound. Eight lamb chops, plain minted tandoori, any way you like it, eight for 10 pound. I've got the butty bacon at five pound in weight for a fiver. We've got a full range of sausage this week. But what I've also got is dry cured 400 gram packs of bacon. Any way around, three for 10 pound. A few people, the bacon packs are too big for me. Boom, sorted it for you. You don't have to ask Phil once. You know, there's no need any keyboard warriors. If you've got a problem, tell me. I'll endeavour to put it right for you. And if we can't put it right, we'll have a fight on it too. It doesn't really matter. Joe, what are you about? Whole pork loins. These went mental last week. £20. You've seen them. There's a cut option on them. 
all or cut, no problem. Five kilos of chicken fillet is 25 pound. And that, other than pork pockets and some other bits and bats that are on there this week, concludes the sale. Now it's gonna be a limited sale. I do expect this weekend to go bananas because I can see what's happening in shops already. Best of luck, thank you for your support and uh, I hope you like it and we'll go from there. Take care and have a good day.